G'day guys, Rising Fun Gaming here, and we're starting in the same area with this higher rank Gypsaros. Alrighty. It's always a bit stressful starting in the same area when you've got all these buffs you want to do, but um, we'll see what we can get away with here. Alright, we're out in the Primeval Forest map. First introduced in good old Monster Hunter for you. Whee! Actually, Monster Hunter 4, technically, the Japanese release. That's when we first saw it. Okay, we are using Aerial Style Charge Blade, and it is a very fun style. So we'll go through how it kind of works. Um, in lieu of the ground A button charging attack, which is missing in this style, we can do file charge slices with the um, sword mode by pressing X after a jump, like so. And you can quickly get some file energy that way, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's what you lose and that's kind of what you gain. Now what we're doing is some aerial file energy releases off the jump in axe mode, which is the bread and butter of this style weapon combination that's super duper fun to pull off. And um, you've got to be careful. It's always fun with impact style charge blades to go for the KO off that jump, but sometimes, and very hilariously, you can accidentally um, <laughs> KO the monster and initiate the ride at the same time, thus cancelling your own ride. That's happened to me a couple of times, and in multiplayer it's always going to be a huge laugh when someone in the party does that. So lots of fun to be had with this particular style. If I press the R button upon jumping off in Sword and Shield mode, we just get a quick transition to Axe mode there, as you can see. Probably should have stuck the shield out here. Whee! And yeah, it's it's really, really fun. And we'll see how we go against this rubber chicken today. The twerky. Likes to twerk his tail on poor old hunters. Alrighty, we need to get a bit more charge. The one hunter up that I've chosen to go in with this battle with is over limit 3, which will allow us to get a um, maximum of 10 vial capacity once we have that activated. This particular set I'm running I use for my gun lance mostly, but it also makes a really cool uh, charge blade set. Got Razor Sharp Guard Plus 2, Artillery King, and Load Up. Now, Load Up has a really cool function in Monster Hunter Generations, a new, a new function whereby, damn it, <laughs> whereby when you load energy into your files, you get more files filled than normal. And we'll show that off in a sec. Block. Nice. So to illustrate it, I'd like to just use this last file in here, like so, on the head, lovely. Okay, let's get the yellow aura <laughs> around the files, that's what I'm going for. Actually no, I'll just explain what it, what it does and I'll go for the red. Now, if you've got the yellow file aura before you load, normally you would load three full files. With load up, however, you're going to get five. Now the reason I'm not going to show it here is because I'm going to go to over limit three with the red one. And with red, you'll see that I can charge a total of ten. And we'll show that off, like so. How cool is that? Alright. We'll quickly put that onto the shield, and we're hoping that we can quickly get 10 vials back, because we want to give him massive presence. <laughs> Just tanking the poison like a champ. So load up is going to be very popular in charge blade builds for this game, and that's what... didn't get a really good camera angle on it, did we? But that was a full release, a super duper full release, so yes, in case you were curious, you can pull off 
The full vial release, full file burst in the air. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's going to be a little bit harder to aim exactly where you want it. Um, however, so some people might want to save it for on the ground, but it's good to show it here. Okay, if we're good, we're going to get another 10 vials. I'm putting my body on the line here, I don't really care. It's probably going to probably gonna whack me pretty hard here not we oh yep <laughs> I thought I thought I was gonna get really lucky there but I didn't okay more poison for me just eating it up gobbling it up making a poison pizza all right we want this red aura please excelente now if only I could get you in a trap probably you probably move straight away not ideal. Yeah, we've got a little bit of time left in our oh, damn it, our over limits hunter art. A bit risky putting this trap down with my health chipping out. Oh man. Okay. Need to jam another one of these down my throat. Oh no, he's gonna move. Alright, hopefully he's gonna move in the next area. Unfortunately our over limit's going to disappear before we go see him, so maybe we can get it off on a cat. No. <laughs> Not if I uh, do a Superman type. Oh well, rip that. But um, it's not like we're in any real danger of failing this quest. We're so wrecking the hell out of him. It's going to land up there like a like a chicken. It's living up to his nature. I oh, know. He tried to come down. He has got good sportsmanship sports bird ship about him but you can see the uh, full vial burst once again there some people don't like having the red shield because they don't want to do the full fire burst they want to have um, no red shield which will let them to continually jump off the monster and just do the single fire burst on the head and I guess that's a pretty good option as well I personally prefer not having the red shield, but it's always fun to show off the big aerial bursts. I just cannot dodge poison today at all. I think I um, I lose all sense of self-preservation when I've got aerial charge blade. There's just something about it that makes you a madman, or at least it makes me a madman. Annoyingly, our bird is running away again. I uh, can't see his shadow. That's no worries. It's probably just next door. And if it's not, we've got Psycho Serum backups. Psycho Serum backups it is. Ah, uh, he might be going down to the poison area. Oh, there's two monsters on the map. Alright, bird. Oh, don't do it, mate. Don't you dare do it. Don't. Oh, you suck. Well, at least we painted you this time. Jeez, I hate when monsters troll me like this. You can at least make it interesting and go say hello to the Gendron. No. You're boring. Actually, this way. <laughs> I love the pepperoni. It's in a um, poor print shape on the pizza. It's a rather good touch. Get ridden. Now, I wonder if we're going to kill him outright or if he's going to feign death once more. Pretty fun if we could get another KO. Before all is done and dusted. Oh well, permanent KOs. <laughs> Alright, there's our rubber chicken. Good night, Gypsaros. Alright, high rank is down. Up next is the hyper version in the next video. Hopefully, hopefully you're looking forward to that one. My name's Rising Fun Gaming, showing off a little bit of aerial charge blade. 
It's been an absolute joy bringing it to you as always. Here's hoping you have a great day, and goodbye for now.